Hey guys and welcome back. So today I wanted to show you how I make my guacamole. Um, it's really quick, it's simple, it's absolutely delicious. It's something that I've been making a lot lately because it's super quick and you can pretty much pair it with anything. I absolutely love eating it on toast. Um, I like putting it in tacos or on burgers, um, just with chips or veggies. I absolutely love making zucchini sliders, which I, I just slice up zucchini, uh, keep it raw, and then I just add the guacamole on top and eat that. It's so super good. Avocados are a great little treat. Um, they're so good for you. They're loaded with vitamins, you know, they're low in sugar, they contain fiber, so they're going to keep you full. They have lots of vitamins such as B, vitamin C and E. Um, it's going to help you fight off disease and infection. Just a really, really good little treat. So, all you're going to need is two avocados, a half of a lime, one garlic clove, a little bit of salt and pepper and about two to three chopped tomatoes. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get that bowl out of the way and I'm going to slice my avocados in half. So you just want to work your knife all the way around it. And then that's what you have and then you always have this big pit in the middle a simple way to get that out is to just go ahead and take your knife, put it in there and turn it and then it pops right out. Okay, so I'm just going to do that with both of these. Okay. And then what I like to do is um, just go ahead and score the avocado while it's still in the skin. I'm going to run it this way and then I'm going to turn it sideways and go this way. You're not going all the way through the skin. This is just going to help it come out nice and easily. I just love the creamy buttery texture of avocado. They're so good. and so versatile. I mean there's so much you can do with them. Okay so now all I'm going to do is take a spoon and just scoop out the avocado into my bowl here. And You can see how easily it comes out by scoring it like that. It just scoops right out. Okay, so now that I have all of my avocado um, in the bowl, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of give it a little bit of a mash with a fork. You can leave this as chunky as you'd like. Um, I do like to leave a little bit of texture to it. Um, not completely creamy, but not, you know, super chunky either. And I did also forget to mention that you're going to need some fresh cilantro as well. You can add um, onion to this. Sometimes I'll add red onion. I'm just leaving it out this time, but you know, feel free to make it your own. Okay, so now that I have that mashed up, I'm just gonna go ahead and whoops, squeeze um, half of a lime in there. The lime is not only gonna you know brighten it up and freshen it up, but it's also gonna keep your avocados from turning brown. go. Go ahead and just give that a little mix. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take my clove of garlic. A really quick and easy trick to peel garlic, you guys, is just to take the back of your knife, place it on your garlic, and then smash your hand on the back of your knife. And then the skin will come right off just like that. Super easy. Ok, 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and chop this up. want to finely chop that and then add that to the bowl. Okay, now I'm going to take my tomatoes and I'm just going to start chopping those up. Depending on the size of your tomatoes, um, you know, and how much you like in yours, I'm actually just going to eyeball it. So I'm starting with three. I may only add two of them. I'm just going to wait and see how it looks once I have two chopped. Then if I think it needs more, I'll add the third. Okay, so I only ended up um, using two of the tomatoes. I think that that's enough. They were a pretty good size, so this is what it looks like so far. So I'm going to just set that other one aside. I'm going to go ahead and just add just a touch of salt and pepper to taste. And then in my opinion, cilantro really makes the dish. Um, this is one of those herbs that you either love or you hate. I absolutely love it. Um, but if you don't like the flavor of cilantro, by all means, you can leave it out. Um, I think fresh basil would also be good in this, so if you want to try that, that would be good. So you just want to give this a rough chop. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and then we're just going to add that in. And then once you have all of your ingredients mixed together. You want to give it a taste just to see if it needs anything else. You know, you might need a little bit more salt. You might need a little bit more cilantro. It's just good to always, you know, try it and see. So let me go ahead and try it. Mm. And it's perfect. I might add just a touch more black pepper. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Really, you're not missing anything without leave, with um, leaving the onion out, in my opinion. It is so good. It's buttery, it's smooth, it's creamy. You get a hint of garlic. Not a ton because we only did the one clove. Um, just a touch of like a, you know, sweetness and tang from the tomatoes. You get that bite from the lime, which I absolutely love the creaminess from the avocados and then you get that you know little bit of sass from the cilantro it is perfection so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful I hope that you guys give this recipe a try because like I said it's super quick and so easy and so healthy for you if you do give it a try please let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in my next video bye guys